With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So we have to find the value of this given integral. And the integral given to us is we have let this integral be i. So we have i as sin x plus cos of x and in denominator we have under root of 1 minus sin 2x and with respect to dx here. So we have to remove this under root. So sin 2x can be written as 2 sin x cos of x and this 1 can be written as we have sin square x plus cos square x i is equal to we have integral of sin x plus cos x and we have under root of we have in denominator we have sin square x plus cos square x and minus 2 we have sin of x cos of x and we have with respect to dx here so i is equal to we have integral of this is sin x plus cos x and in denominator we have under root of this whole term is sin of x minus cos of x whole square with respect to dx so we have integral of sin x plus cos x and in denominator we have sin of x minus cos of x with respect to dx. So, if we put this sin x minus cos x is equal to t, then we have this is cos x, differentiation of sin x is cos x and differentiation of cos x is minus of minus sin x. And with respect to dx, this is dt. So, we can write this whole term as integral of we have dt and 1 upon we have t here. So, i is equal to this t is nothing but if we integrate this we have modulus of we have ln modulus of t and plus of c. So, t is nothing but sin x minus cos x. So, ln we have sin of x minus cos of x and we have plus of c. So, this will be the answer. So, option D will be the right answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.